good morning. Pin the comment in. Right, wicked. So it's going to be a rest day, a little bit of core and a nice stretch. <coughs> so I've decided Saturday is my new, my new rest day, just woken up. Um, so we're going to do five minutes of ab work together and then we'll do some core, uh, we'll do a stretch as well. So let me know if you can hear me. Good morning, Anita. Is the sound okay? We're going to get started. So we'll do five minutes, 40 on 20 off, wake up the abs and glutes as well. And then we'll do a nice long stretch. So yeah, perfect for Saturday morning. Camera's a little bit wonky, apologies for that. Hope it works because the tripod's a bit funny. Morning sis, um, little sisters watching. Um, so yeah, find a bit of space. We're gonna do 40 on, 20 off. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just literally squeeze and hold a plank, okay? So find a, uh, find a little position. We're gonna hold a plank in four, three, two, one. So hold it here. So yeah, you'll come around. So yeah, we're gonna do five, five minutes, abs, core, 40, 20, wake up, and then we're gonna do a nice long 15 minute stretch. Get the body moving, it's 8 a.m. Saturday morning. And then, uh, yeah, if you're training after this, great. If not, this is a perfect way to get a little bit of movement in. So 10 seconds, squeeze, hold, rock it a little bit. Three, two, one. Rest, next one from here. So extensions, so squeeze up and back. So this one, <coughs> perfect for lower back, your glutes as well to wake up, okay? So in five, four, fingertips on the side of your forehead, three, two, one. Squeeze at the top for a second or two, come down, repeat up, nice, and again. So five different moves here, and then we're gonna do a longer stretch. So it's gonna be yin inspired. So we're gonna do some longer. If you've done yin, yin yoga before, we're gonna do just a few different postures, but think about really relaxing into them. Okay, so 10 seconds, squeeze it up. Just get, thinking about getting the body moving slightly differently this morning, right? So five, two, one. Okay, next one, crab position. I want you to come from here, across one. Rotate, and every time you tuck, breathe out. Okay, so it's like a little twist. Okay, so four, three, one, come across. Rotate, so it's waking up the upper back as well. Spine, as you twist. Really engage your abs. Okay. Good. Cross. Perfect. You got ten more. Three, two, one. All right, rest on the floor. Gonna drive up one, keep one foot off the floor. Squeeze, repeat. So 20 seconds with one leg, 20 seconds with the other. Okay, so in six. Take a couple of breaths. Three, two, one. Up. Push up. So my right foot is on the floor. I can feel the right side, the back of the leg engaging. Breathe out, you've got five more seconds on this one. Two, one, nice, same on the other side. Squeeze up, perfect to fire and wake your body up this one. 10 seconds. 
got to get ourselves ready today. Three, two, one. Nice, okay. Right, so next one, we're gonna do little pulse crunches, okay? So in 15, get the come up, like that. All right, so in six, second to, no, this will be the last of the five minutes. Three, two, one. Touch a knee at the top. Good. Squeeze slowly down. You got ten more. Four, two, one. Hug it up, pull it in. Slowly from there, we're gonna to come to a stand. Okay, so we're gonna start the stretch in. Stand in and then come down to the floor. So, come up to a standing position and shake it out a little bit. I want you to take your elbows and we're gonna come down. This one's called dangle, so just from here. If you find that this is too much, you know, you feel a little bit faint at all, you can come up and come up slowly. If you're comfortable, we're just going to hang out here for about 30 seconds, so rocking it left and right. So hands to elbows, just have a little play around here. If you want to bring your chin closer to your chest, great. Nice, in. This is perfect for me because it keeps me accountable here. I need to do some good stretching mobility this morning. It's going to be a rest day. I've got some work, but I'm not actually training myself. So breathe and squeeze it across. Nice. Think about going a little bit deeper. Can you place your hands on the floor? Come over to the left side of your left foot and then come over to the right. Good. Okay, from there, slowly come up. We're gonna come back down again in a sec, but I just want you to open up your chest and then just have a little bit of a left and right movement. Just push your hips left and right. Open up. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, very similar. Coming down, I want your right hand towards your left ankle, so like this. So come down and then rotate. So right hand on left ankle, left hand on your right hip, and then look up. Hold it here for a few breaths. slowly, exactly the same on the other side. Good, okay, we're gonna gradually work our way down to the floor, okay. So from there, knees in together, just a circular motion. Just warming up the ankles and knees a little bit to get a bit of movement left and right. Place your knees, your feet a little bit wider. And I want you to squat and then stand, okay? Squat. Really controlled, calm breathing. Think about sitting a little bit lower. The range of motion to start with. If you've just woken up, it might be just there. Try and go a little bit further. All sorts of cats wandering about around here. This morning, sit, open up your chest. Good, breathe. <clears throat> Next one, hold it low. Elbows in. <coughs> Take a breath here. <clears throat> and then, I want you to place your right hand on the floor, left arm up, and then just look up towards that arm.
really think about that move and what you're doing there. Opening up, working, little rotation in, slowly come down. From there, we're going to kick up, okay? Kick up, hold, similar to earlier, getting into the back of the legs. We're going to work our way down to the floor a bit. One more time, sit in. So wherever that is for you, it might be that you're sitting there, or it might be that your range of motion is there. Personally, I'm not the, my, I have to really work on this because I tend to not have the best range. So I have to try and work on this every day to get it. It's just the way sometimes your body is designed to move certain ways and it doesn't you have to keep working to maintain that movement right so kick up take the back of your feet again rock it we're gonna sit down from there okay so come down right the way down to the floor and then to tabletop okay hands on the floor drive your hips high so from three two one so option chin on your chest if you're feeling really comfortable there, you can place your head looking behind. Sometimes that one is a bit too much for people. It makes people sometimes a little anxious, but if you're comfortable, fine. And then sit. Okay, we're gonna do that again, right? So squeeze your bum at the top. Three, two, one, up. And then you can also come forward and back, okay, forward and back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the crab reach behind, so resting on the floor, the one where you reach right the way over. I want you to think about doing 10 really good quality ones, okay? So right arm, then left arm, really extend, reach right behind, okay, so 10 good ones. So from here, you ready? So here, three, two, one, so one, Hold, two, nice, three. This exercise is a really good exercise if you take your time and do it properly. Brilliant, so that's five, extend. Feel a lovely stretch in the back of the body. Okay, so we've got three more. One more to go. Slowly come down to the floor. So we're gonna to start to work into the floor, right? So left foot into your, um, into the right thigh. Take a deep breath and then fold. <clears throat> so that fold, you may be able to touch your toes, it may be that you're at your shin. Just have a little circle of your ankle here. If you can touch your foot, great. If not, just place your hands so your palms are right, uh, facing the ceiling. And encourage your forehead towards your knee. Really think about breathing deeply then when you exhale, go a little bit further into the stretch. Two more breaths here, okay, right the way in. Slowly come up. From there we're gonna transition, okay, so these, this exercise in between, just left and right, bit of movement, windshield, and then I want you to place your right knee towards your left 
in a five, two, one, repeat the stretch on the other side. Okay, so your right foot in, and then just come in. Again, about 30 seconds here. Remember each time you breathe in, exhale, fold forwards, hold. Two more breaths. Okay couch stretch we're gonna do one if you've got a space by the wall if not you can do it good morning Nick um, you can do it without the wall we're gonna lunge and take your foot to uh, towards your bum okay so if you haven't got a wall just like that okay I'm actually gonna go like that because the wall is probably gonna be a bit too much so get your balance if you need put your hand on the sofa or whatever so just breathe here, relax, focus. This is really important, this one, to focus. So you stay in position. If you notice, keep your head up so you're not like this. Head's nice and long, leaning forward into it. Do a lovely stretch from the quad into the hip, up into the chest as well. It's a really nice stretch, this. Particularly if you sit down a lot this is perfect at the end of your day. Circle that ankle there. Think about breathing. If you can, if you're comfortable, extend a little bit. Two more breaths here. on the other side to slowly repeat so I've got my um, I don't know if he's still watching but my mate Nikos who is a le lecturer for <coughs> personal trainers so if you want to be a PT <coughs> he works with Premier so he could be your tutor so he's probably going to be watching so I better be on my best behaviour in terms of how I'm delivering this session just in case he's marking me on this. <laughs> okay, so extend, breathe into it. Get your balance. <clears throat> you might find one side is a little bit more challenging than the other for your balance. Slowly come up. So we're going to kick up knees soft from there. Kick up and rock. Okay, to the floor. If you get any pain in the Achilles, just take it lower impact, okay, so kick up, come down, kick up, slowly down, see how it feels for you, your body, it might be, you come up, and then down to there, but if you're feeling good, and then just push it a little bit more dynamically, stretch out, look over your shoulders, repeat, one more time. Place the foot wide. Brilliant, stretch this one. Open, and then thread your arm through. So we, this is the last little bit, okay? So we're gonna come in, and we're gonna come down to the floor for some breathing to finish. So two more times, in, look up. So if you're watching and you, you fancy doing it, it's gonna save for 24 hours. Perfect little Saturday morning wake up we're going to be finished in about five minutes so you can jump on it then if you fancy it if not I've got a similar one on my YouTube channel that I put on last week rest day workout core stretch breathe in feel good before you start your Saturday open up 
two more times in. Nice, one more. Good, again to the push up position. Just play it around, kick back, and then I want you to thread your foot in like this. Okay, square off your hips, take a deep breath here. Extend and breathe here, right? Okay, so that might be that you're here again. If you're comfortable with it, it may be that you, you know you take a couple of breaths and you feel more comfortable. So when if you get comfortable into this stretch, you can go a little bit further if you want. That would be taking that deep breath. Exhale into the into it here. Okay, so just fold, breathe, relax. The face relaxes, forehead in towards the floor. So three good breaths here, okay? Really calm the body down. Not that it's probably been that stimulated if you've just woken up, but either way. <clears throat> nice, one more, one more breath. Slowly come out. Kick it back. Okay, come through, thread it through. Same, same applies here, obviously. Hands on the floor if you're feeling good. Deep breath, exhale, fold in. good breaths so four or five seconds on the way in hold and then slowly exhale when you exhale you really should find that your body really relaxes into it slowly come up. The last thing we're going to do today, resting on your toes, okay, just like that, if you're comfortable, if not, if, it might be that you're sitting like that, if you're not comfortable sitting in, either or you decide what's right for you, stretching this area, so right hand towards the floor, head stays up nice and long, you're not coming down like this, and left ear towards your left shoulder, okay. and then slowly come back one more time up and then repeat on the other side slowly ease out your shoulders come to a seated position just like this okay and then <clears throat> just spend 20 seconds just to take some breaths here. So use this time now to think about being present and appreciating what you've just done for your body because it's so important if you train really hard to spend half an hour just to, to move the body well and think about the quality of how you're moving rather than just jumping around or whatever which is great, it has its place, but this is also equally as important to take a couple of breaths, fill your lungs up, be up nice and tall. And then relax, cool, wicked. Thanks for joining me, that is 25 minutes. Let me know how you found it, if you are still watching. And um, yeah, please do DM me with anything you'd like to see more of on the channel, whether it be more stretching videos. I wanna try and do some I did a yoga course, yin yoga, a while ago, so I want to try and do some yoga yoga videos soon. Um, just getting the balance of, of what training works for everyone. So, yeah, let me know. The kettlebell stuff, I really enjoy it. Um, the weighted, also bodyweight training is always fun. But, yeah, if you have access to 
weights or kettlebells, great. But um, yeah, always let me know any feedback you have or what you like about the channel because I want to try and reach out to as many people as I can doing all of this stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you have a lovely day, enjoy your weekend, and next week, might not be here next week, but I'll try and do one during the week. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and see you soon.